Hello my good students, how are you? Um, I'd like to show you something about English that I think is quite interesting. Here in my hand I have some money. I have 10 US dollars. But the strange thing is, if I want to refer specifically to this object, to this piece of paper, I would call it a $10 bill. It's not a $10 bill, it's a $10 bill. And I don't know, perhaps that's where the dollar sign comes from. Just a theory. Now this happens a lot in English. When nouns come together, the first one is generally singular, even if you think logically that it should be plural. Let me give you some more examples. This is cream for hands. And most of us have two hands, so you might expect this to be hands cream, but it's not. It's hand cream. And this, Santa Claus here, is for opening bottles. And I can tell you that I've opened more than one beer bottle with this in my life, but it's not a bottles opener, it's a bottle opener. This is a ring for keys. In fact, three keys in this case, but it's not a keys ring, it's a key ring. And this is a brush for teeth. But it's not a teeth brush, it's a tooth brush. This happens all the time. If you go to a shop for shoes, it's not a shoes shop, it's a shoe shop. Somebody who directs films is not a films director, he or she is a film director. If you have a book of recipes, it's not a recipes book, it's a recipe book. So, when nouns come together, the first one tends to be singular, even if you think logically that it should be plural. So, a little bit of English grammar for you, and I hope you find that useful, and bye-bye.